Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of me trying out curvy fit jeans. I'm telling you, I'm gonna try all of these out so that we can see which ones are the best. I think I started off with Abercrombie, I went into Good American, I did Hollister, and now I'm doing American Eagle. I had no idea that these guys had curvy fit jeans. I had no idea until somebody told me under one of my videos, I forgot which one it was, I'm gonna try to find it. But somebody said they always go to American Eagle for their curvy jeans. And I was just like, I had no idea. Honestly, I didn't know that American Eagle or Hollister carried any of these. So what I did was buy a pair of curvy jeans and the same type of style in their regular fit jeans and just see what the difference is so that you guys can know, especially if you are planning to go out and purchase any of these jeans. I'm trying to tell it all before you guys make your purchase so let's start off with the curvy jeans of course we have to start off with them these are the ones that i got they are the curvy high rise jegging they are just solid all the way down and i know you guys saw that these look kind of different but they're the same exact style they just have different designs on them so they're both high rise jeggings after just learning from the past couple of times that i've purchased curvy jeans I knew that this time I had to go a size down again because if you don't go a size down in curvy jeans then they're just not going to fit. They're going to be too big because I think what the situation is with these guys is that the size goes based off of your waist. So like for example, I'm normally a size 10 in jeans. I don't remember exactly what like the, the waist number is for a size 10. But for these, I can tell you, I had to go down to a size 8 and it says that the waist is a 29. My waist size is a 28, but I didn't go down another size because they just wouldn't fit me down the legs. So I went with a size 8 and usually across brands, a size 8 or a size 29 would fit me a lot better. They definitely fit perfectly, you guys. So sorry if the lighting is just a little bit off. The sun is starting to set because it's that time of the day. But I wanted to start off showing you guys just pretty up close. Okay, so look, literally brand new. I have not tried these out. Still has the tag on it. How perfect are these? They're very high-waisted, obviously. They cover my entire belly button, my whole midsection. But look at this, it has no gap. And I know that's the whole point of this video, but there are more expensive brands I feel like that don't do it this well. And honestly, like the fabric and everything of these is so amazing. So here is the length. Like I say in every single one of these videos, I'm 5'8", so this is how long they are on me. They're literally hitting my ankle. So I think that these are a perfect length, perfect size and everything for me. And if you're around my height, that these will probably fit you well as well. But these are literally perfect. Like they fit exactly how they're supposed to. They fit really well. They feel amazing down the leg. They stretch so much. And honestly, I feel like they do a greater job than Good American or any of those really expensive brands. So these were $49.95, I believe. Yeah, these were $49.95, so $50, and I feel like I couldn't get these on sale, but I feel like if you look out for a sale, then you might be able to get these for cheaper. But I feel like for $49.95, they're not that bad. They have distressing at the ankle, and just overall are just such a soft pair of jeans. Okay, so next, let's get into their regular fit jeans. So again, these are not curvy. These are the same thing, high-rise jeggings, but these I had to get in a size 10, which like I said is my regular size. And thank God I went with a size 10 because if I would have went down a size 8 in their regular jeans, I would not have been able to get into these because the size 10 is perfect. Now, I had to get the ones with the rips because when I went to American Eagle, they did not have anything in my size that did not have ripping in them and I wanted to get the same exact style so i just had to settle for these guys but these are going right back to the store because i just can't i can't i'm like never gonna buy another pair of regular jeans ever again they're gonna have to be curvy fit from now on trying these on after trying those on just reminded me why i'm making all of these videos to begin with like the struggles are annoying you can really tell the difference between these different fits, you guys. It's it's just incredible when you compare them. I don't know if you can see this, but the way that this kind of just indents in, I don't know if you can really tell, but I can tell in person 
so i would need a belt with this especially after just trying these on and just moving around because they fall down because they have that space and that's one huge problem that i've always had with jeans that's why i always end up having to get them taken in or something like that just because that gap will literally make all of these jeans ride down and i hate that and i'm already getting that issue with these because of that little gap like if i pick these up then you can definitely see it but that little indent was because they started to ride down all right so just for reference they're the same exact length as the other jeans that i showed you guys and like i said they're basically supposed to be the same style just a high-rise jegging but they really do not fit the same they don't feel the same these are not as comfortable like i said everything else about them is pretty similar they just ride down a lot more like this is just so annoying and i know those of us who have this problem adding a belt just isn't going to work all the time sometimes it scrunches up sometimes it just makes it really uncomfortable and dig into your skin so i would not buy these even if they didn't have the rips because the rips are definitely not my style now these were a little bit more expensive these were 69.95 and I think it's just because of the ripping. Like, it's not worth $20 more at all. I don't know. That's that's just me as a customer. So, night and day. It's crazy when you're able to compare both different fits because then you see how crazy it's been. These are perfect for people who don't have that issue with, like, the gapping in the back of the jeans. These are perfect for them. So, I'm glad that they made options of the same type of jean in different fits just so that everybody has an option for them. Like these are incredible. They don't ride down for anything and they stretch so much. It's like their second skin, which I really, really love. Oh, and it says next level stretch. So honestly, I have not shopped at American Eagle in so long because I just feel like all of the stores that I used to shop at, like Hollister, American Eagle, Forever 21, I loved those when I was in high school and college, but I am not the same size that I was back then. So I just stopped shopping there. But they have a lot of really nice things. Like I need to go back and see what else I can get because they actually have some really cool things. But I'm glad that I was able to try these out. And if you guys are interested and don't want to shop at Hollister or Abercrombie or Good American, then definitely try out American Eagle because these are really, really good. But there you have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any other brands that offer curvy fit jeans that you want me to try out and review then please let me know down below i will run to the store and grab them for you if you enjoyed my video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video bye